everyone let's start the new topic from the unit of square gear that is force analysis of square gear so here we have the two diagram one is the driver gear that is small gear we can say it as pinion and another is the driven gear driver rotated in clockwise direction so that driven rotated in anti clockwise direction now as you can see in this video or animation when driver exert the force on driven gear it is along the common normal at a point of contact so as driver exert the force then power and motion is transmitted from the driver to the driven so driven also exert equal and opposite force on the driver gear so here is the normal force exerted by driver to the driven and so that equal and opposite force exerted by driven on driver so let's split this normal force into two component so as you can see in this figure we split this resultant force into two component one is in horizontal which is the tangential component another is vertical component which is radial component let's discuss about this two component first is the tangential component now as you can see this is the tangential component which is act along the tangent so this is very important component which will be help to transmit the motion and power so we can calculate this tangential component using of equation of power that is p upon v where p is the power to be transmitted in watt and v is the pinion and gear pitch line velocity in meter per second so it is power is pi and t upon 60 and velocity is pi dp n upon 60 so n is number of rpm of pinion because pinion is the driver so we'll consider power at pinion so it is 2 pi n t upon 60 torque transmitted by pinion and pitch line velocity is pi dp np divided by 60 so here pi pi get cancel 60 60 get cancel also n p n p get cancel so what remains is 2 dp divided by dp now instead of dp dp is nothing but the torque so i'll put symbol tau so it is tau upon instead of dp let's put 2r so it is 2 tau divided by 2r 2 to get cancel so what remains is tau upon r so we'll get formula for ft that is tangential force is equal to tau upon r now see this figure carefully now uh, by using of torque we can able to calculate this ft so after calculation of ft let's calculate fr and f now see here we get right angle triangle and here we have the f so f is equal to that is normal force is equal to in terms of ft so it is adjacent side so what we can write ft is equal to f cos of phi so f is equal to ft cos of phi okay similarly fr we can write over here or we are consider right here so f fr is in terms of ft fr and ft c fr upon ft is equal to tan of phi so fr is equal to ft tan of phi also we can uh, able to find out this f in terms of fr fr is front of this triangle so fr is equal to f sin of phi so f is equal to fr upon sin of phi now these are the very important equations now see this radial force carefully radial force act towards the center of the gear so radial force is always tends tends to separate the two gears only the tangential force is required because it is 
use or it it will be help to transmit the power and motion but see the radial force when it is more than it try to separate the two gears because it acts towards the center of gear now when we want the resultant force f we can write it is ft square plus fr square okay or we have the equation for f in terms of ft or in terms of fr i hope you get idea how to get the equation for ft fr and f in case of the spur gear